Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm back again with another really interesting coding interview question video. This time guys, we are going to solve question number 1732, find the highest altitude. Before I start with the problem statement guys, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, then please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications of more such programming and coding related videos. Let's get started with the problem statement now. So basically guys, there is a biker uh, going on a road trip. And this road trip uh, contains n plus 1 points and all these points are at different altitudes. Okay, so let's say the biker is starting his trip on point 0 and at 0 point the altitude is 0. We are given an uh, integer array in which every value of the integer array actually represents the gain, the net gain, the net altitude gain which is taken from the i minus 1th point to ith point okay so for example if the biker started at point zero then when he went to point one then he gained a attitude of minus five points which means he probably went down a valley and then in the next uh, in the next point he gained an altitude of one point so if we see here the first point the altitude was zero then the altitude was minus five then he gained an altitude of unit 1. So minus 5 plus 1 becomes equals to minus 4. So his next altitude became minus 4. And then he gained an altitude of 5. So if you uh, do minus 4 plus 5, he is right now at a height of 1 unit of uh, one unit of height, right? And then he, it was a flat surface. So he went forward and the height gain was again the same. So uh, the, the altitude remain at uh, 1 and then he went down. So the altitude gain was minus 7 and thereby in the end he is at an altitude of minus 6 points. Okay. So if you uh, see this array here, the array of altitudes, the highest altitude the biker has been there is the altitude of 1. And this is the value which we have to return. Another example here, pretty much straightforward. You can see the biker started from altitude 0, went to minus 4, then to minus 7, minus 9, 10, minus 6, minus 3, minus 1. So he is basically going down and up, going down and up. But uh, the point which he started from was the highest point. So that's why the answer is 0 in this case. The constraints are that the value of array, the total amount of elements in the array range from 1 to 100. And the gain values range from minus 100 to plus 100. Okay. Now let's get started with the solution part. So we know that guys that we have to return a value of the highest altitude. So let me create a variable here called as highest. And I'm gonna uh, by default make it to 0. And we all know that the biker is starting from the default altitude of 0. So let me create another variable here altitude becomes equals to 0. Now that we have our initialized variables already let's start with traversing the gain array. So for integer i equals to 0 to i less than gain dot length i plus plus. Simply what we have to do is traverse this array. Uh, let me fix the bracket here. So now we are traversing this array. So we have to sum up the altitude of the gain value. So altitude becomes equal to altitude plus the gain i value. Okay. Now we have to find out the maximum altitude. So in the highest variable, we are going to uh, do math dot max, either the altitude value or the highest value itself. So using this line, finally in the highest variable, we will have the highest altitude. And then in the end, just return the highest altitude value. Let's run this code, guys. Let's see if this works for our examples. And there you go. It works for one. And hopefully, yes. So it works for all other example cases as well. Talking about the time complexity, guys. Tom, uh, time complexity is order of n because we are going through a for loop of n elements. And each element is traversed only once. That's why the time complexity is order of n. Uh, talking about the space complexity, space complexity is order of 1 because we are not using any extra space here. Okay. 
So that was the solution, guys. I hope you guys like the solution, and I hope your coding practice became a little bit better with this. If it has, guys, then please do not forget to like this video and share this video with your friends. Write down in the comment section below anything you want to say to me. Any feedback is definitely welcome. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed, and hit the bell icon for future notifications. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care and bye bye.